Hello campers, this is the Suburban Camper. I am pleased to announce I will be producing some new videos. I've been busy for the last six months sharing my love for natural wonders by working as a tour guide. I have thoroughly enjoyed taking people to see beautiful vistas, mighty rivers, spectacular waterfalls, amazing fish, awesome stratovolcanoes, incredible coastal headlands, unique rock formations, secluded beaches, and majestic forests. But now the rain and snow are falling, so it is officially the off season, which means I can dedicate more time to exploring, camping, and producing videos. I have several videos in the queue, including SUV camping for two people, best electric blanket for SUV camping, minimalist SUV camping setup, remote campsite classification, storage for SUV camping gear, and SUV camping in winter. These topics are in no certain order, so if any of them pique your interest, please let me know. Today's video is a review of the window screens I have been utilizing for several years, so let's get started with that. When I think about my most essential SUV camping gear, I think about my most essential needs, which are shelter, water, and food. And I would also add sleep to that list because you cannot function properly without adequate sleep. So with all that in mind, I believe my mattress, sleeping bag, and water jug are my most essential items. If I only had those three things, I believe I could survive for an extended period of time. Once your essential needs are met, you can focus on meeting additional needs. And next on the list for me is comfort, which is defined as a state of physical ease and freedom from pain. The first thing I need to achieve physical ease is fresh air. When the AC is off at home, I am sleeping with windows open because I need fresh and preferably cool air to sleep. Even in the wintertime, I sleep with windows open, so when I am camping in my SUV, my windows will always at least be cracked open. But open windows are an invitation for bugs to come inside to enjoy the comforts of my SUV camper and perhaps a tasty bite of my body, which means I will no longer have freedom from pain. So that is why I have always utilized window screens while camping in my SUV. When I researched car window screens, I found two types of commercial solutions, over the door and on the door. And I also found that some handy people build in window solutions specific to their vehicle. I am handy, but if I find an affordable commercial solution, I tend to go that route. So that is what I focused on. I decided the on the door solution made the best sense as I was worried the over the door solution would lead to door fitting issues and excessive wear and tear on the screens when opening and closing the doors. I decided to try out Skeeter Beaters on the door screens because they are an established player in the market and they offer vehicle specific solutions. Also, they utilized a Chevrolet Suburban in their application video, so that sealed the deal. The Skeeter Beaters attach to the vehicle body with strong magnets. The only challenge is separating these magnets when you go to install them, which you can see is taking me a bit of time here. They use a combination of super strong ceramic magnets in the corners and composite magnets everywhere else. This enables the screens to hold strong, yet they are easy to remove, as you can see. I have had them partially blow off in a strong wind, but I believe they have achieved the perfect balance between holding strength and easy removal. Once they are installed, there is absolutely no interference with opening and closing the doors. And I think that is one of the best features as I am constantly doing this when I am camping in my Suburban. The Skeeter Beaters have proven to be very durable. The netting is tight and I've never had any rips, tears or holes. The only issue I have had is the seam for the magnets on one screen came undone and the magnet fell out, which is an easy fix. You can purchase both types of magnets on their website for repairs. The fit over the window is good, but not exact, which I can understand given the numerous vehicle applications they offer. Keep in mind, I utilize rain guards on my windows, so the screens are accommodating for this extra depth. 
The key to applying them is the label goes on the bottom with the logo facing out. And then, once you roughly attach the magnets, you just need to slide the magnets around to get the screen aligned with the window, and then slide the magnets outward to tighten the screen to remove any gaps. I did lose a front window screen, so I ordered another one and it did not fit as well. I'm not sure if they changed the size or if I ordered the wrong one, but the fit is close enough, so I will continue using it. They also offer screens for sunroofs, which I utilized in the summertime to allow heat to escape. It is a bit oversized as I think they use the same one for many applications, but I can achieve a tight fit by stretching it out. Just don't forget to remove it before you hit the road, which I have done a couple of times, but I was able to pull it down before it flew off. I would like to have a screen for my rear hatch window, especially for the summertime, but the liftgate is aluminum, so the magnets do not work. The screens come with a carrying case, and for a while I kept mine in the case and labeled each screen with its window application, and this worked fine, but I found a better solution. Now, I keep each window screen by the window it goes on, and I just keep them there all the time. All I do is open the door, grab the screen, and apply it. There is a trade-off between protection and airflow. Here is my attempt to show you how the screens affect airflow. I'm using my 12-volt fan, which I use to keep cool in hot weather. Here is the flow without a screen, and here it is with the screen. Again, with and without. As you can see, it is eliminating most of the airflow. The reason for the airflow reduction is Skeeter Beaters engineer the screens to keep out the smallest biting insects. They are rated to keep out no seams, which are only one to three millimeters long. No seams are not a big threat in the Pacific Northwest, but I like the idea of protecting against the full range of biting insect sizes. So I think the trade-off for more protection and less airflow is a good one. Also, in my test, I had all the other windows closed, and if you have a good cross breeze, the airflow will improve. Either way, if it is hot, then I'm using my fan to keep the air moving inside the vehicle, and therefore, I am less dependent on air flowing from the outside. A complete set of screens for my Suburban cost about $145. The order process is a bit cumbersome as you do not have the option of choosing a complete set for your vehicle. Instead, you must select each window set separately, front and back, and then choose a generic sunroof screen size. You also need to reconfirm your vehicle information for each item you order. Their vehicle coverage is impressive, so I'm sure you can find screens to meet your needs. I have been utilizing Skeeter Beater window screens for many years, and they have proven to be very effective in promoting my comfort while I camp in my SUV. They are one of my top essential items, and I highly recommend them. Please note, I am just a Skeeter Beater customer who loves the product. While I do utilize the Amazon affiliate program to earn commissions from my YouTube channel and website, Skeeter Beaters does not sell through Amazon, and I do not have any affiliations with them. I will put a link to their website in the description. If you learned something from this video, please like it. And if you want to learn more about how to go anywhere, camp for free, and be prepared for anything in your SUV, please subscribe. Thank you very much.